Hi friends, uh, today now we will discuss about the, what is the process after the power U in U is all power on U frequency search, cell search, cell selection. So <coughs> today we will know, uh, we go uh, in a uh, basic call flow, what happens after the power switch on. And uh, in next video tutorial we will discuss over in, uh, deeply we will discuss over on frequency search, cell search and cell selection. This process, but right now I am discussing in basic uh, call flow of uh, what happens after power uh, switch on. So, <coughs> in uh, logs, uh, when we I see, I, when I see the logs, uh, what happen? Initially, cell scan indicator is seen. In cell scan indicator, you got the EFCN details in which EFCN cell are available. And uh, here, 383825 is available, cell ID 0 is available. And after scale, a scan, you, get the, you got the uh, EFCN cell ID. After that, what happens? What you will do? You will do read the MIB. Uh, cell selection is happened. After that, read the MIB. And after that, you will read the shape. So, it will read the MIB. In MIB, it contains the information about the PHIC duration bandwidth. Uh, PHISN configuration PCI this all the information got in MIP after what happens after that uh, you will read the same information in several information which contain information about the PLM and identity list cell etc related information PLM and identity list and tracking area code cell identity cell board and uh, cell selection informations and uh, pay, uh, because of brand indicators, scheduling information, same information, TDD configuration, these all the information you read in same. After that, what happens? You <coughs> in S message send the attached request same message. After sending the attached request same message, you will trigger the random access request. And sending the random access request message, you will send the random access message and uh, selection done and uh, RAR message is uh, come from the network our grant is come from the network for the uplink resource grant is uh, here you uh, know about the uplink resource grant after that send the message three transmission and send to the network uh, you send to the network message three message and array uh, procedure is finished and uh, state is terminated after that you receive the rc connection setup message from the network and this setup can uh, rc connection setup message contain information about the srb identity and uh, the SCH configurations, uh, uh, physical dedicated configurations, uh, and applying power control informations. These all the information, uh, CQI reporting uh, related configuration. This all the information is uh, in our second setup message. After that, you send the connection setup complete message uh, with uh, attached request message. With attached request, in uh, connection setup complete message, it contains the information about the uh, MME IGA group ID, MMEC. It contains the information MME group ID. Gumi, these all the information uh, you send old Gumi uh, through this uh, uh, through this information you you know about the informa information about the old uh, MME and then uh, processes uh, happen. If suppose that old MME, then it's here in the identity request message. In identity request message, which contain the information about the or some dedicated SM messages is sent and uh, receive the identity response message. In identity uh, response message, is get the information about the MC value of the UA. And then uh, authentication re uh, processes is uh, uh, started here and uh, of the NAS messages at the on NAS, uh, NAS level. And security mode command is, uh, is a process is happened here. After that, <coughs> After that, uh, after that, what happened? Uh, you capability inquiry, capability information, you innovation to you, you capability inquiry message, and you send all the capability information to the network. You capability information to the network, you new capability information. After that, on RRC level, security mode command and complete process is happened. After that, uh, you know, we send to you uh, the RRC configuration message which contain the information about uh, uh, in information about the Mm, a radio resource config dedicated SRB identity, uh, DRB add module, EPS B identity 5, EPS B related information, DRB identity, PDCP, yeah, uh, RLC configuration. These all the logical channel related information, these all the information sent in, uh, you know, we send in uh, sent to the UA in RLC configuration message. After the complete attach accept error message is <coughs> sent. 
and uh, uh, is accepted and after that uh, eps be a default eps be a context request error messages seen uh, a default eps be a context accept messages completed here process completed here and uh, uh, and here is detach is processes hammer aot cop is equal to 2 detach is happened so this is the overall call flow of uh, uh, lta attach call flow and uh, we'll <coughs> uh, in next tutorial video tutorial we'll discuss over the uh, uh, during the frequency scan of how you select the new shell after the power switch on and uh, <coughs> so uh, please subscribe my video uh, for the next video tutorials and uh, thanks for the watching my video and uh, please don't forget to subscribe my video thank you